Well, what I'm going to do is show you how we can get these propellers right now. I'd already put a few marks and I'll put those on for you. Those little marks will be on the original drawing, just little, little tiny dots, which as you can see are lost now the way we put the sky and the other colour on. I've just put very, very lightly a grey 233 around there just to indicate where those, those are going to be. Now that, those marks give you the clue. I can't do it down here because if I do it down here you're going to hide them up anyway with the dark colour and they'll be too obvious if we do. So this is the way I want you to do it. You put your, get a rule and go to the sort of centre area of the nose cone like that. This is this area here, I should make that a little bit more obvious later on, but that's where the propellers are whizzing round. So you measure then from the, to the centre and you can see it's three centimetres from there. So what you do then is you go three centimetres from here, one, two, three. Now, you didn't expect this on artwork, did you? But it's quite important. So that now is at the point there. So what we do is kind of re re repeat that, sort of like you don't have to be spot on accurate because we're going to fudge this in a minute. It's going to be, it's going to be um, uh, used. I'm using the blender and the dark grey actually. So just what you do is just do that, okay? Now on the other side, you can just do 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 the same thing, and it comes up to there, you can like an oval. As I said, you don't have to be too accurate with this because that's all going to be faded in a minute you're not going to see it but you get it and then when you look back on it you think that looks that looks reasonable okay and I'm doing it with a grey pencil because this uh, is the is not a colour really so it will work now once you've done that then what we do then is we use it just to in the sky which is the lightest area we use it just to put a bit of spin on it like that okay and then we filter that through. Let's get my rule out of the way. These are the pencils that I'm going to use here. Can we just spin it round and we'll have a look at. I've got to go all the way around here, folks. It's very really important that I go because if you don't do it like this, you end up with it not being round and you just come down like that. Okay. Now, uh, perhaps you can find my own uh, picture here, which um, I couldn't have the 752 in flight, so what I had to do is find another picture of another Spitfire that gave me a clue as to how this would work. You see how already how that's beginning to work? Now down here we can do the same thing again with our darker colour, but once again, don't be too, don't press too hard what we're doing. And then here we just put that in there, like that. You've got a bit of artistic license really here, but you can see already how we've got a little bit of dark in there as well. I think you could add just a spot if you want of blue too, just a bit of blue, just to pick up the sky. But you don't want too much of it. Okay, now I'll see if I can do this without moving it round again. A little bit down here as well. And it can come over to there because we're going to be interfering with that wing slightly. You can see what I mean by being a, a, a difficult area because you're going at all, all your lovely drawing that you've done and you think, oh my goodness. The problem is if you don't do it, it's going to spoil. Now I would say that that is probably all we need. So that's before we start, that's when we start whizzing along with our blender. Let me just all show you how we can also use this. Now just there, I just want to drag a little bit of ochre. That's why I put the ochre in the head. A little bit of ochre away like that. Just to show that we've, we've got a bit of a spin on that. And then here, and I'm going to have to turn it around now, like this. We want to fade this very slightly here, on there, just a little. Then anything there, just to lighten it up a little bit. Okay, down same there, and down here. 
excuse me. And a little bit of blue maybe, just a touch of blue there. I'd say don't, don't worry too much about the fact that uh, this is looking a bit odd at the moment. It won't do. Now, on my Spitfire that I'm, that I'm looking at, there's that little bit of light that comes in from here, like this. And I quite liked it. Do you see, see the idea of that? I don't think it's... I don't know. Maybe we can put just a little bit of... Like there. It's not going to show up on the other side, so there's not much point. Maybe we can put some here as well. Like that. There's a double one. Okay, and now the crucial bit now. We've got to use our blender. And no, I don't mind if there's a little bit of blue on that actually. Then we just bring the blender around and just fade it. Like that. Don't, I'm not going to do the white bit, I'm just going to fade it. And I think probably I'll put a little bit more. That's scary or what? And just follow that through there like that. I'll show you that if you happen to go too far with this, you can in fact lighten it up. Now that, that blue is looking rather good, isn't it? because we've got the white cloud because we think we might be just a little bit too strong there so we weaken it there I like the idea of weakening it here so if you found that those little marks were a bit of a pain in the bum let me just show you how you could get rid of that it's a bit severe but it works see that little one there I hope you can see that I can I'm just using the hard end of my eraser. There you go. And then you just repair it with a little bit of white. Maybe a little bit of grey as well. So there we are. And back to the white again. And there it was gone. So if you did find that that, that um, was annoying you, you can do that. A little bit of blue in there as well. Now you see that? That makes a difference, doesn't it? Because we, we are now it's almost like hit and miss with the propeller. It starts off quite strong and then just in here we maybe just I mean, kind of like almost like what I'll follow that little white bit I've got on there. Little, there go. Do I like that? I do very much, yes. Now that works up the top so it's got to work down the bottom. Let's just work the white. Again, just to fade this in. I know this is scary, and you might think I'm not doing it to mine. Well, if you if you don't want to, just just do it very lightly. You don't have to be as severe as me, but you see, I think that looks quite spectacular. A little bit of grey, maybe. I like the blue, but I've got a feeling that might, that might be a bit strong, that blue, so what we'll do is we'll weaken it with the white. So we've still got it, but it's not quite so strong. I like, the, I like this on the skyline where it's broken the skyline up a little bit. And I'll just do a little bit of repair work. I'm sorry this is taking so long, but... I'm enjoying myself, folks, and you're going to you're going to bless me for it later on. For showing you these, now, I just feel that what we could do here. Let's just give this a go. We can do, you see that on the other side. I think we can probably do something like that. Now I'm not following any pictures now. I'm using my 
instinct, but I just feel that we could just do something on the other side like that. Let's just see if that works. I've never done a plane in pastel pencils, but the way I've enjoyed this so much that I'm now looking at the Lancaster bomber as another picture, which I'm going to do sometime probably next year. Okay, now see how that how that looks nice, doesn't it? We need that faded now. We want to fade it a little bit. We don't want it to be quite so severe there. Now I think, let me have a look at that and see what I think. Oh, folks, that's not bad at all. I'll probably do a little bit of work off camera, just to do what I'm doing now to debate, and I won't spend any more time on it with you. I didn't like that bit, so I actually got rid of that, and so on. I like that bit there, I think that's great. That just picks up on it, but I'll probably alter it. Let me just show how I alter a little bit, a little bit, make it, make it just a little bit less. Yes, but I do like the way it, it, it spins off of there. Okay. Okay. Now let's have a look at that. Now, that looks nice, doesn't it? As I said, I'm probably going to be doing a little bit of um, work on it. Just a little. To make it look just a little less obvious. Because they're spinning at such a fast rate of knots, you don't really see them. You just see a, a trace, so I should probably work on it a bit more, but there we are. Now, the next thing we're going to be tackling, because we've got the water, I'm not going to finish the water until the end, but what I'm going to do now is start off on over here on the cliffs.